Do you want ceiling speakers in your home but not sure which products to buy? Monitor Audio is a great place to start, so let's help you work out which speakers from their range are right for you. Hey guys, Jonathan here from Smart Home Sounds, an audiovisual retailer based in the UK. And in today's video, we're talking all about Monitor Audio, a popular ceiling speaker brand worth considering if you're starting an installation project and considering in ceiling speakers. Now you might be wondering why this entire video is about Monitor Audio. Well, Monitor Audio are one of the best selling ceiling speaker brands on our website for good reason, as they offer a good balance of quality and affordability. What we also like is that there's a model for everyone and every one of their homes, so it covers a lot of different listeners. The issue that a lot of customers have these days is knowing which models to go for, which can sometimes result in a purchase that they're disappointed with. After all, you can only test ceiling speakers when they're installed in the ceiling. And by taking the time to find out which models do what, your budget can be maximised and then result in the perfect purchase for your project. So this video will aim to break down their core lineup so you can better understand which ceiling speaker model might be suitable for you with minimum jargon. Now they do offer some more premium models but we'll just be focusing on core options in this video today. So get in touch if you'd like to discuss any other models. Hopefully you'll find this video very helpful if you're in the middle of an extension or home building project or you might just be planning one. We'll be doing a similar breakdown of other brands so comment down below any others that you'd like us to do soon. And just a reminder that timestamps will be in the description below. So if there's a particular speaker that you'd like to know more about, you can find it there. And the last thing before we dive into the lineup, very quickly, we do offer a free UK design service where you can submit your floor plans to us and then we can mark them up and suggest where might be the best positioning for your ceiling speakers, how many that you'll need for each room, and then give you a cost indication based on your listening requirements. So if you'd like some help with the project, then get in touch and we'd be more than happy to help. Right then, without further ado, let's get into the video. So if you're new to Monitor Audio, to give you a bit of background, Monitor Audio are a British company founded in the early 1970s. They offer speaker products for every application, be it indoors or outdoors, with the majority supported by a lifetime manufacturer's warranty. A great little USP about Monitor Audio is that all of their speakers are designed and engineered in the UK by Monitor Audio's in-house teams. And that allows them to create a complete catalogue of products that are designed to work together sonically, aesthetically match, and then they offer options for all budgets or project levels. We often advise customers to keep the brands across the project largely the same, so it's great that Monitor Audio can cater for the whole home rather than just individual spaces. Monitor Audio are known for using metal in the majority of their driver units, with the main focus over the past 35 years on their C-Camp, which is ceramic coated aluminium magnesium driver technology, it's a bit of a mouthful, but simply put, it's a clever combination of a metal alloy, which is very light, it's very stiff, and very inflexible and that minimizes distortion and, and it's easy to drive resulting in a nice lifelike sound. And all speakers that I will cover also come with a pivotable tweeter so that means that you can angle those higher frequencies to a certain area of your room which will come in very handy and then from the mid-range models upwards there are also switchable features where you can tailor the performance of the speaker for the location that it's installed in like removing potential bass boom in corners or increasing levels that so you can hear voices more clearly. Now there are three main series in the monitor audio in ceiling speaker lineup. You've got the 100 series, the 200 series and then the 300 series and each series has a range of speaker options with different sizes and speaker types. Now to keep things nice and simple, the main differentiator between the series is the driver type as the Seacam Gold Dome tweeter remains the same across all of these models. These speakers all come with a trimless round magnetic grill but you can also purchase a square grill to fit if that would suit your room better as an optional extra. Now these grills are also supplied in white but they are spray paintable if you like to match the colour of the speaker with your ceiling. And what's nice is that you get this little scrim behind every grill to protect the driver behind it if you do decide to paint it, as well as hiding the driver behind it so you can only see the grill itself once you've installed it. So I'll cover the core speakers in the bulk of this video, so that's their standard depth speakers. However, I will come on to more bespoke options such as slim, all weather and that sort of thing at the end if that's what your space would require. So feel free to skip ahead to that. Another important thing to highlight before we delve into your speaker options is the monitor audio naming system as this helps you determine key features of each different model. 
So if we take the example of the C265 IDC, the C signifies it's from their ceiling speaker range. It could also be a W, which is in wall, or CS, which is slim. Uh, the 2 refers to the technology in this model and which series it's from, so the 200 series. The number will increase as you go up the range. And then the 65 refers to the size of the main driver, here being 65, so 6.5 inches, which is nice and straightforward. Finally, any additional letters on the end, such as the IDC in this case, refers to any special features. So in this case, it's in inverted dual concentric tweeter. So I'll explain that in a little bit, but I'll flag up a little diagram now if you want to pause it and see what the model names actually mean rather than just random numbers and letters if you're interested, but we will break down most of these throughout the video. So we're gonna start off with the 100 series. So my editors will clear these off the table and get the 100 series in now. So the 100 series on the whole are more suited for ambient music or smaller spaces. And this series starts off with their entry level model, the C165, which is a very popular option due to how affordable it is at £125 per unit. It comes in at 114 millimeters mounting depth, which is how much space behind the ceiling that you will need to install the speaker. And it also has a 6.5 inch driver. Now it is very important to recognize the C165 is mainly for ambient background music. So if you're not really gonna be paying much attention to the music when it's playing, maybe if it's being installed in a secondary area of your home, like a hallway or a bathroom, these are your best option. The next option up, the 200 series, is where I would start for your open plan spaces like kitchen diners and that sort of thing, but I'll come back to that in a minute. Now the mid-bass driver in this C165 is still made from metal, but it's not the signature C-cam material that you find on the tweeter. On all ceiling speakers starting with the C165, you also get a high frequency switch, which can be used to lift the top end sound if it, if it sounds a little dull in your room, or conversely, it can be set to remove some high frequency if your room has a lot of flat surfaces, making the sound too harsh otherwise. Now that's very useful to have and not often found on speakers at this price point. The other application I can see the C165 being useful for is if you're looking for a budget-friendly surround sound speaker. However, Monitor Audio do have a custom-designed surround sound ceiling speaker, which I'll cover a bit later on. Now, if you're just looking for one single speaker for a much smaller room, then there is this C165T2 option for £160, and that is a single stereo speaker. And then if you're looking to get better bass or fill a larger room, then the C180 is the next step up at £160 per unit. Now it is exactly the same speaker as the C165, but it comes with an eight inch driver instead of 6.5. So it can push more air around the room and that results in more bass output. Again, a single stereo option of the C180 is available too for uh, £200. So that's the entry level range covered. As mentioned, I would only recommend the 100 series for rooms for if you want a bit of background um, radio or general background listening, not at particularly high volumes. So we're gonna switch the speakers over again and move on to the 200 series now. So the 200 series is where I'd recommend starting at, as these are much more for if you'd like a reasonable quality listening experience, and we see these installed in open plan kitchen diners and family rooms, any spaces where you might spend more time in and maybe do some occasional active listening. They're comparable with Monitor Audio's bronze series of speakers in terms of technology used, if you're familiar with that. Now, you now also get a boundary compensation switch. And I know you'll be asking me, what on earth is that? So it just means that if the speaker is maybe being installed towards a corner and it's sounding a bit too boomy, you can flick the switch and then it will help compensate for this. A bit like putting the foam bung in the rear of your traditional speakers that you may have had to do in the past. One thing to note in the 200 series is that there's no single stereo option except for the all weather model, which we'll come back to in a little bit. So kicking off the 200 series, you have the C265 for 180 pounds each, which is similar to the C165 in appearance, but underneath, the mid bass driver is actually made out of the same key C cam material that I've already highlighted. This will result in a better standard of mid range sounds and bass tones. So, if you want to turn the music up a little bit higher occasionally, these will hold their own as there's just essentially less distortion and they're more comfortable to listen to. You've also got an 8 inch model available um, named the C280. I don't have that here, but that one's £215 if you wanted more bass to fill a larger size room, but also benefit from that 200 series spec. Now the C265 IDC is where things really start to ramp up in sound quality quite quickly. And it's actually what we think is the sweet spot in the monitor audio range coming in at £255 each. 
Now the IDC part stands for inverted dual concentric and what this basically means is that whereas the previous models I've talked about so far feature a single driver where all the vocals, the instruments and the bass notes mainly come through one driver unit and are referred to as a two-way design, these IDC models have a dedicated mid-range driver with the tweeter positioned in the center of it all on a pivotable section making them what is called a three-way design. Probably the simplest way to describe the step up on the IDC model compared to the models lower down, it's like going from a bookshelf speaker to a floor standing speaker. So the coverage of sound is much greater and you'll pick up on those extra subtleties in the music. What's also great about the IDC models as well is that you get adjustable frequency controls on the speakers themselves. So you don't have to rely on EQ changes from whatever you're driving the speakers with. So this gives you some form of tuning the speakers to the room. The only caveat to the C265 IDC is that you do need a little bit more depth behind your ceiling for that extra technology. So 150 millimeters in this case, which is about 40 millimeters more than the ceiling speakers lower down in the range. So that's the Core 200 series covered. And moving on to the 300 series, which I'll just swap over now. The 300 series is really for those of you who are looking to get hi-fi quality out of ceiling speakers. So you might be replacing a hi-fi system to free up space and you want to make as few compromises on the sound quality as possible, and you're gonna be physically sitting down in a room to listen to it, like you would a hi-fi system. And these are where you should really look. With uprated components on all levels, these speakers will really dig out the details in your movies or music. You also get a mid-frequency level switch, so if you wanna boost that mid-range, this can be especially useful in a home cinema application as well. Now there's three speakers in the 300 series that we want to tell you about. One of them I don't have here, but they are all eight inch driver sizes. So do be aware of that larger cutout size. Now the first speaker to cover is the CP CT380. I don't have that here, but it sells for 330 pounds each. Now the CP at the start stands for controlled performance. So that means that the speaker comes with an acoustic back box and that makes it a completely sealed enclosure. And this retains sound quality as not as much sound is lost through the back of the speaker and it also prevents dust buildup within the driver. However, if you are considering the 300 series, I would also highly recommend taking a look at the models above, which are the C380 IDC for £365 and the CP CT380 IDC for £395. Now the former doesn't come with a back box, but you get that three-way driver system, which I explained in the C265 IDC earlier on, as well as a bigger eight inch driver. And the latter combines the three-way driver system with a sealed enclosure. So ultimately you'll need to consider budget here and how far you'd like, like to take the system. Okay, so that covers all of the core options in the 100, 200 and 300 series in the monitor audio in ceiling speaker range. As you can see, they all have different pros and cons, but hopefully we've helped you work out the benefits of stepping up or down in this range. Now, I've got a few additional speakers worth highlighting for use in more unique environments. The first is Monitor Audio's Slim or Super Slim options. Now, these might be necessary if you have a really slim ceiling void and you don't have the space to fit the regular depth of ceiling speakers. Now I will just highlight that you pay a slight premium for these speakers, so on the whole, if you can fit the core speakers, then I would recommend doing that. But there will be some situations where these will come in handy. The most popular slim option is the CS160 for £135. You've got a little more room to play with in the ceiling as it's slimmer at 99mm, but you do get a 6 inch driver rather than 6.5 inch. So while the sound is similar to the C165, slimmer speakers do lose a bit of bass. The other more popular option, which is the one I have here, is the CSS230 for £255 each which is a super slim model coming in at a mounting depth of only 50 mil. So if you really don't have much space to play with behind the ceiling or surface, these are your go-to. Now they should be seen as a last resort because they don't offer the same level of overall sound quality as the other speakers. But what is quite unique to the CSS230 compared with other super slim speakers is that you get three mid, mini mid bass drivers instead of a single one. So you can maximize the bass output from this form factor. Another special feature option worth mentioning is the C265FX model for 210 pounds each. Now this is the only model in the 200 range to feature a pair of fixed tweeters that point away from each other for wider dispersion. Now this is your go-to model for two applications. The first one is in a surround sound application for your home cinema. 
As the model comes with a diffuse and direct setting, you can change the setting of the speaker to either throw the sound directly to a single point, um, and that's useful if you're positioning them for surrounds where you've got some space in between the ceiling and the wall. If you're installing them close to a wall, you'll wanna flick that to diffuse so your surround sound can be more accurately spread. The other application is actually in a restaurant. Now, C265FX can negate the effects of speakers that are positioned directly above a table. Have you ever had it where you've been unfortunately seated directly under a speaker and you can't speak to the person opposite you? Well, you can flick the switch to diffuse and they'll fill the room with background sound rather than the sound coming too much from a single point. And finally, I just wanna highlight the 200 series all weather options, as these will come in handy if you're installing ceiling speakers either outdoors under the soffits in your roof, or in perhaps a bathroom, a steam room, or kitchen where there is lots of humidity. We've even seen them installed on boats and that kind of thing. Now these speakers are IP55 rated, so they'll be absolutely fine in pretty much any environment that you give it. As they come with a stainless steel white grille, they won't rust and a bit more harder wearing overall. Now they're called the AWC range, so they are the same sound quality as the C265, but of course they're weatherproof. Now they do the standard AWC 265 uh, model for 250 pounds each, with an eight inch version available for 330 pounds each, plus single stereo options, um, both in 6.5 inch and eight inch sizes. And they're also available for 330 pounds and 415 pounds respectively. Okay, so I think that covers just about all the Monster Audio ceiling speakers that we think you should be aware of. Of course, this is just an overview to give you a foundation of understanding. So if you would like to discuss your ceiling speaker project with a member of our team, please get in contact directly or leave a comment down below and we'll get back to you. If you'd like to stay up to date in the world of home audio, do consider subscribing as you may find our content very useful. And let us know if you would like to see similar videos with other brands, it is always good to hear what you guys want more of. Thanks very much for watching and we'll see you very soon.